Hey everybody, AZ Batfish here. Welcome back to So You Want to Play Modded? So, uh, in the last episode, we took a real quick look at FTB Utilities, and today we're going to be taking an even quicker look at Journey Map. <laughs> this mod is pretty straightforward, but it's really awesome, and I want to show off some of its super basic features. Um, so if you notice, in the top right of my screen, I've got that mini map there. And underneath, it's got the coordinates, it's got the time on top. Um, I find all that to be super useful, and that's part of Journey Map. Uh, you might also be noticing that the places where we got killed by creepers in the last episode uh, are marked by these death markers. Now, these things are called waypoints, and we're going to talk about them in a little bit. But real quick, if we hit our J key, we'll bring up Journey Map. Now, the first time you do this, you're probably going to have like some kind of flashing screen with some some things flying around it. Uh, it you can read the credits and stuff on there if you want to but you can just hit the close button and it'll bring you to this main screen so this is your main screen of journey map and it will actually show you all of the stuff you've uncovered and you can drag like way way across uh, and and you can see tons and stuff that's in your world uh, once you've uncovered it of course and in this world we haven't done a whole lot haven't ventured out very far so there's not a whole lot to see it also shows you all the waypoints that you've got and stuff like that there's a few other things you can do you can switch it to night mode uh, you can switch it to topography uh, or, or between day and night uh, you can switch it to topography uh, there's cave layers so when you're underground it switches to caves um, but yeah, most of this stuff is not all that important. You can uh, you can show mobs on your map. You can show animals. You can show pets, uh, villagers. You can have the grid. Uh, you can show key bindings and stuff. Uh, this is all this is all per default. I haven't messed with any of it. I find the default settings to be pretty nice. However, there is one option that a lot of people like to do, and I'm pretty sure that's under. Uh, advanced options? Maybe I should have checked before starting. <laughs> uh, no, it's not under advanced options. Ha! Alright, so it's actually under your minimap presets, what I'm looking for. And the minimap preset 1 is what you start with, so if you're not going to change it, you don't need to worry about it. But that option is this, the mob display. If you change this to icons, it will actually show you on the minimap, and you can do small or large icons, uh, it will actually show you on the mini map what type of mob. So now you can see that my mini map is showing me that there's sheep over here and horses and that there's chickens and villagers over there. Uh, it's pretty handy, especially if you're hunting a certain kind of mob. Uh, I think it might use a little bit more resources that way, so I don't think it's that big of a deal though. So we'll leave it like that for now. So as I mentioned before, these things are called waypoints. And it's probably one of the more useful uh, aspects of the map, uh, apart from having the map in the first place. So let's say uh, you're out exploring somewhere and uh, you find a village that you want to remember where it's at for later. Well, you can set a waypoint in Journey Map so that you don't have to like record the coordinates down or anything like that. So if you hit the J key, down here at the bottom on the left is a button called Waypoints. You just click that, you click the new button, you can call it whatever you want, we'll name it Village, you can give it another color if you'd like, we'll make this one a yellow, and then you just hit save. That's pretty sweet. Uh, or if you rather, you can also manually enter the coordinates and it will put a waypoint anywhere in the world. Something else that's pretty cool about this mod that you can do is uh, if you're creative or your opt i think you can actually teleport to places i'm not sure if that's if that's on and survival actually we could check that real quick game mode survival uh, but i'm still opt i think uh, but we can look yeah i still could do it anyways one of the things you could do is hit this chat button and uh, the chat button will actually put it into chat and if i push enter right now it puts a link into chat so anybody else can come in here and they can click on this to create a new waypoint or control click to view it on the map. So if you control click, it will put the pointer right there, which is pretty sweet. Or, you know, you can click it and it will add, add one to you. You can name it whatever you want. It already inputs the coordinates and stuff for you. It's pretty sweet. Um, that's really handy to have. So if you want to tell your friends on the server where your base is at, you can just create a waypoint at your base and then share it with them. So let's, let's say that uh, you've been playing on the server for a bit and you've got some waypoints that you don't need anymore, or perhaps you have 
death <laughs> death waypoints that you want to get rid of that's super easy to do too you probably already saw it you can just click on the remove button on any ones that you don't want or uh, if you'd rather keep the waypoint but you don't want to have it visible you can click this on button and turn it off the waypoint will still be in your waypoint system but if we look now it's gone and if we want to turn it back on simply turn it back on it's it's simple as that and uh, that's pretty much the long and short of journey map you guys but it's a uh, it's a super handy super handy mod I'm sure there's stuff that the uh, you know can go over that I didn't go over different themes all kinds of different options you guys saw but that's the super basic stuff and the stuff that I think most people are probably gonna want to know about so uh, yeah I think we'll go ahead and call this here if you did find this video informative which I hope you did Oh, and hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below if you've got any suggestions on topics you want to see me cover in this series. Got lots of links in my description down below, including Discords and Twitters. I got I'm streaming on Mixer now, so that's up there as well. Make sure you go check all that stuff out, you guys. And until next time, this is Easy Badfish signing out. Bye bye.